Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black and uh, some good news today at least on the jobless front we're starting to see a uh, more of a drop in the weekly claims. Yes on a trending basis very important four week trending uh, for the last four weeks much more important than the recent data that we saw that came out today just on was it wintry mix was it not but more corporations in the United States are not letting go of people on a four week trend that should lead to job growth as the year plays out um, as this winter storm excuse kind of starts to fade a little bit so positive news for employment in America and then on the flip side store closings and job losses Radio Shack announcing over a thousand store closings and now uh, today we had Staples uh, announcing they're closing over 200 stores I've said it once I'll say it again um, I'm at the point where I don't like going out of my home <laughs> or my business um, maybe that makes me a recluse but it also makes me part of the American trend we don't like going to malls anymore Staples is downsizing or maybe right sizing compared look at that that's a football field of just like there's no one there there's just a lot of uh, product at a, a store at best uh, at Staples um, they're suffering like Best Buy has suffered they're suffering like Radio Shack has suffered uh, physical retail is struggling it begs the question of like what to do with real estate investment trusts that invest in mall REITs um, it begs the question of you know again are we getting more efficient Staples said we're gonna start doing more break room goods like sodas because people aren't doing toners and the workplace has changed aggressively we we need to change with it. I would avoid that stock getting hit today. I just see it as a downward trend of Americans are shopping online. And it's not like that company's bleeding money. I was interested to read that they said half of their sales are now online. I thought that was very interesting. Which is great. But as the investor guy, they've also said four straight quarters of declining sales. So it's a little bit too early to say that, they've, that they're going to turn around or that they can even pull a turnaround off. Are they going to die? No. They're not best. Uh, they're not. Um, help me here. They're not best. They're not. No, uh, Radio Shack. Radio Shack. Um, so, um, so you couldn't even remember the name. That's how bad it is for Radio Shack. Right. And two obsolete words, I think, there too. Radio and Shack. Well said. All right. Speaking of uh, radio, uh, talk about Pandora Music and the Oakland-based company. Their stock taking a hit today. Too much competition, okay. and it's starting to catch up to them. Um, this is a company that's got 70 million plus users. You recently saw WhatsApp get acquired by Facebook because of 450 million users. Pandora, the best thing that they got for going for them is active users. Um, there's not a lot of money to be made. They are one of the biggest radio stations in America, but they've got competition from iHeartRadio, from Apple, from Google, from Spotify to Moog. Uh, there's just uh, so many competitors out there. Uh, for them to ultimately win. I think they get acquired maybe two, three years from now. Hmm. And uh, we're talking about the SATs today and changes to the scoring. And does the Khan Academy have a part in this? Yes, Khan Academy is an online website. I love the Khan Academy. I think it's a brilliant idea. I love the Khan Academy too. You know what I love about it? What? The fact that it brings education to people who can't afford education. It does. And I like it for kids. It flips the education model where you learn your lessons at home and you do your homework at school. Yes, um, and the SAT is starting to get 21st century. They've lost, um, I'd say, credibility compared to the ACT, and the Khan Academy uh, working with them will allow motivated students to study, and not with a $30 book and not with a tutor, which obviously people with money could afford. This is a $1 billion industry, and I like the fact that Khan Academy and online studying and prep is displacing, you know, a billion dollar industry. And I like the SAT, who is a non profit saying like hey we're gonna welcome them even though they hurt our business model it's pretty amazing you can pretty much take all the classes to get your NBA say online without ever having to step foot in the classroom what was your SAT scores uh, mine was 15 oh, no I think it was 1510 or 1490 I was 1440 but now we can compare with the kids today once again because it's going back to 1600 we couldn't compare with them we actually can't because they're making it a lot easier oh. now um, the SATs they're getting rid of the essay um, and they're making the words much more uh, street yeah. words versus, you know, extrapolative, you know, big words that don't mean a lot to people. Those are some big time. SAT words there, Rob. See. And if you have a question for Rob, you can post on his Facebook page and we'll answer it here on Cron 4.